Hey, what's up everyone? This is Lewis here with NukeTheFridge.com and I'm here inside the Paramount Studios lot celebrating the release of Bumblebee. I got Bumblebee here. I'm gonna be doing some interviews and some more coverage, so stay tuned. That car? He's with me. Today is a great day. We're here to meet with some awesome people who worked on the movie, including the Foley artist who worked on the sound, as well as some cool female mechanics who are going to teach us a bit about cars and just give you an extra flavor of Bumblebee. I just love writing female characters. It comes very naturally to me. I think it was time that we saw a Transformers movie with a woman at the front. The only person you can show yourself around is me. I was really excited to see Charlie and that she was a young, woman who was interested in working on cars. I think that that's an excellent thing to show young girls. Like, don't be afraid, just try it. Do what you, do what you love. With Bumblebee in particular, because he can't use his words, sound was integral, I think, to this movie and to how, how we told this story. Foley is the more organic, intimate sounds in a scene that characters might touch. Together as a team, we kind of create whatever sound it is we're going for. We'll be doing it live to picture. Bumblebee is a huge, massive entity that is made of mostly car parts, so we use a lot of car parts for that. Uh, the first Foley cue we had press doing was we would have them perform this scene where Bumblebee sits on a couch using car parts, the exact same props we used when we did the movie. Special Oscar category? Oh, yes. He did such an amazing job of the sound. It really feels like you're in there feeling that moment and seeing for the first time how a car is becoming a robot and feeling it in your bones because you can hear it. This is a movie you can enjoy with your whole family and it was designed that way and it was designed that way because it was the kind of movie that I grew up watching with my whole family. 